Well, what's the story with The Rock? Well, you know, I mean, anything is possible, and it certainly could be, um, you know, he could be keeping everything a secret from all but, like, one or two people. And it's, there is that possibility, but the word is is that um, he does not have the time to get in the shape. that You know, we, we've talked about it from day one. He's not going to do it in his mind if he's going to put on a bad performance. And there's no point for him to do it and put on a bad performance. And I think he knows that people are pretty discerning and he's going to be under a microscope. So, um, you know, going in there and, and, and being old or going in there and... and Whatever it is. And I mean, I know he's got super charisma and he can, um, you know, the crowd's going to react to him no matter what he does. But, um, you know, it, all, all along it was always if he had the time to do it, he will do it. Uh, the time to do it, when I say time to do it, it doesn't mean just a schedule break, but the time to get in ring shape to do a legitimate WrestleMania main event. We're talking 20 minutes plus um, for, you know, a guy who has not done this, he's not done a real match since what was it 20 um that's 2011 2012 what was the last year it's been over a decade yeah yeah so um you know it's but put it this way most are of the opinion that it's not happening um and it's been for for months those on the inside thought that the odds were not good based on that thing because again it's like he's going to need a how uh, you know the schedule is going to be tough he's got this xfl thing that's starting in just a couple of weeks um that he's gonna have to run around promote and everything like that plus whatever other things he's doing and he's always got you know all of his different businesses and everything so um like again it's it's uh, you know there's there's no such thing as 100 percent because it's a very secretive business but uh right now i would say it's uh at least within the company, it's not looking good. Was uh, was there a deadline recently? Well, the deadline's, the deadline's the Royal Rumble, essentially. So the deadline's next week. Because going into the Royal Rumble, as they book that show, they have to know what WrestleMania is. Because the Royal Rumble is going to be booked to set up angles for WrestleMania and angles for the main event of WrestleMania. Like there's going to be stuff in the thing. So one guy being out changes everything because whoever it is whether it's Sami Zayn or Cody Rhodes or whatever that has to win the Royal Rumble then whatever they were planned to be the match they were planned to be also has to be changed and you're probably going to be doing feuds whether it's on the Rumble or or on Raw the next day or whatever or or whatever as we start kicking off the WrestleMania season um the point is is that they have to, you know, by by the day of the Rumble, they have to have the top of the card pretty much done. I mean, yeah, there's always, again, you know, throwing in an Austin or whatever like that. But the the key stuff with the key guys, um, you kind of have to know where you're going. So Okay, so, if, well, the reason I ask, the reason I ask yes. is because, and this is only, I think, the second time this has happened with Triple H in charge. They announced this weekend that they have changed what is happening on Raw Monday. It was supposed to be a ceremony where Roman Reigns would be acknowledged by multiple generations. Yes. And they announced this weekend that's not happening. Instead, it will be the trial of Sami Zayn. Which and is totally uh, different. I, I could not help but think, and this is purely speculation on my part, that uh, it comes out that this ain't happening with The Rock. And then they immediately changed the ceremony. And I know that going into the ceremony, I thought that there was a decent chance that these multiple generations, when acknowledging Roman Reigns, would make some comment about how we do acknowledge you as uh, as pretty much being right up there with The Rock. As a way to somehow plant a seed for this match at WrestleMania. And if Rock isn't doing WrestleMania, there may be no point even having this acknowledgement ceremony. Perhaps that's why it was changed. I would say no, only because what I just said was what I just said in this week's Observer. Unless, like I say, it's a big swerve. It was known by insiders as the probable thing for a while. It's not like it's something that would have like all of a sudden he he gave this final word on Thursday, right? Hey, it's it's I'm not doing it. It's like they knew 
they they were aware of something. I, I think this change was change of plans, whether it's Paul changed plans, whether the idea they were, were they going to bring in all the different, um, you know, members of the Samoan, you know, dynasty, you know, from offense seeker or whatever, um, that something for whatever reason they didn't want to do it, but whatever. Yeah. I mean, it, obviously it changed this week, but I don't think that that's it because I think that, I think that like, again, they've kind of, you know, what I said is something that's not, I mean, it's been known for a while, unless, you know, I mean, so, you know, or at least that was, there, there were, there was, there was stuff that happened well back. I think the way he said, or actually it was told, I don't think it was actually his words, but the way it was said, there was a lot of skepticism whether that match would take place going back a month. Unless, of course, you know, a, you know, I mean, again, it could be one of those things where only Vince knows or only Levesque knows and they want to keep it a secret. Or, I mean, Nick Khan obviously is going to know. And, um, you know, that they just don't want anyone to know when he's going to do this angle. That is always a possibility, especially with, with Dwayne, you know, because Dwayne does, you know, he does want that surprise pop if he is going to come back. The WWE legendary joke book. Why do WWE superstars fingers hurt? <laughs> <laughs> Why Grin. were Gene Erkerlund's pants always so angry? Erkerlund? <laughs> Where does Beth Phoenix shop online? Amazon? The Glamazon! Oh, yeah. Yep. No. No. I mean, no. <laughs> no, that is the answer. <laughs> Glamazon. That's what I said. <laughs> you said Gramazon. No, I said Glamazon. <laughs> oh, there should be a Gramazon. <laughs> yeah, Gramazon, actually. You get, like, like, puppy we get it to you real slow. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.